Hello, uh, Jason Dasher with Capital Solutions, CommercialLeaseVehicle.com. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, what you can do if you've had a previous bankruptcy to try to mitigate the negative effects of that. Um, tighter credit in the environment in the trucking industry, bankruptcies are looked at even more closely than they were previously, and so we're going to try to better your chances of. Uh, of getting around that next time you go to apply for truck financing. Um, it would help to write a short story of what happened while you were in bankruptcy. This is especially helpful for uh, bankruptcies related to medical bills, uh, but it also uh, works really, really well in cases where, um, how would I describe it, like when there's a logical reason why you got into the credit pinch that you did. Um, as an example, I spoke to a guy today, um, his truck blew up, the insurance didn't pay, he's suing the insurance company, but that's going to take a year or something like that. Guy's got to eat, can't pay his bills, he had to file. Okay, so that, that's, and, and I got a letter actually from the attorney um, supporting what he was telling me. He wasn't just blowing smoke up me, I had documentation to support it. That's excellent. That's a really good uh, way of uh, chopping that uh, bankruptcy out of the, equa out of the equation. Uh, paid receipts from the schedule of your bankruptcy. Uh, sometimes it's very common actually for, you know, you, you, you do a Chapter 7 and some of those accounts will still show open on the Bureau. Not sure why, but uh, credit uh, reports are notorious for listing things that are uh, not accurate. So if you have a schedule, if, if you file a bankruptcy, it's discharged, and you're still showing some open creditors on there, bring the schedule from the bankruptcy. That helps. Also, be flexible where you buy the, be, be, be flexible on what you're getting. Um, you've got a bankruptcy, and it's going to hurt you no matter what, no matter how much you prepare for it. Um, uh, so there are certain dealers that will work with you, some won't. So you've got to be flexible. You know, just accept the fact that you're going to be, you know, you might not work with everybody that you want to, okay? Also, your payments are going to be higher, and 15 years of doing this, I cannot figure out why people get all, pardon my French, pissed off at me because I'll quote them payments that are higher because they had a bankruptcy on Tuesday, okay? I don't understand that. So be lucky, I, I, I should ratchet it down, <laughs> be thankful that you're getting the financing at the payments that you're getting them because other, most financing t institutions won't touch it. So you got to be flexible on it. Buy a cheaper truck, put money down, do something. Get the cash flow in so that you can help reestablish your credit and then the next time or the third time you go to finance a truck, you won't get nailed. Be flexible. Okay. Um, that's really it. So if you have any questions or you want to call and yell at me because of this video, feel free to do so. Uh, Capital Solutions, commercial lease vehicle .com. And uh, good luck to you out there and uh, have a great week.